guys, obviously Suicide Squad was one of the biggest movies, if not the biggest movie of the year. And you better believe, come Halloween weekend, Halloween day, when you're walking outside, you're going to see so many Suicide Squad characters. I went to a Chicago Comic Con and there were so many so many Suicide Squad characters, especially Harley Quinn. There were so many Harley Quinn. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over El Diablo's makeup. Now, the awesome thing about this tutorial, it's, it's going to cost you $1 to recreate the makeup. All you're going to need is an eyeliner pencil, a black eyeliner pencil. You can use one that's more expensive, but this is a Wet n Wild eyeliner pencil from Dollar Tree. Cost me a dollar. You can buy it at Walgreens, CVS, Grocery stores have Wet n Wild, even um, Ulta, and it's just going to cost you a dollar, maybe a little bit more at Ulta, like a dollar and something cents, but you're not going to find it more for two dollars. It's a dollar. The only other thing you're going to need beside this are your fingers, and you're just going to use your fingers to blend it out. Now, the awesome thing about using a lot eyeliner pencil is an eyeliner pencil looks more like a tattoo than face paint or a cream makeup. Um, there, It doesn't leave that weird shine that face paint does or cream makeup does. It makes it look more like a tattoo. It's the most realistic thing that I've used to get like a tattoo appearance. And then blending it out helps get that like tattoo fade. As always, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It helps my channel do better. And if you keep giving it a thumbs up, I'm going to continue uploading Halloween tutorials for you guys. Maybe I'll upload more inexpensive looks. So make sure you give the video a thumbs up. With that being said, let's begin. So you're going to need a black eyeliner pencil. Like I said, this is from Dollar Tree, just like I said. And then you can use your fingers to blend out the pencil or use an eyeliner brush. This one is also from Dollar Tree and it is by Wet n Wild. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your eyeliner and you're going to start drawing on the features and using your fingers to blend out certain areas. You need to have a reference picture for this. It does not matter. You need one. On the eyes, I drew the circles and then I used my finger to blend it toward my lash line. So just kind of fade it out. You're also going to need an eyeliner pencil, of course. If you don't have one on hand, you're not going to get the sharp lines that you need. Then I start bringing in the pencil toward the nose and using my finger to blend out that area. See, I can't be too specific with exactly every little detail that I'm drawing on with this because it'll just take so long to explain and it's just going to be very repetitive and sometimes not even make sense like I drew a line here and I drew a line there. That's why you need to have a reference picture. On the nose I use the eyeliner to draw it on and then again I use my finger to blend it out toward the center of the nose so that it fades toward that area and you can see it looks a lot like a tattoo. If you were to use body paint you're gonna have a much harder time blending that out it's gonna be more harsh lines so it's nice to have an eyeliner pencil the next best thing would probably be an eyeshadow or if you don't have an eyeshadow maybe a grease paint but you don't really want to use water activated face paints I'm not saying don't use body paint I'm just saying if you want to really get it to look like a tattoo you want to use eyeliner now for the lettering on the bottom of the face you need to draw that on backwards if that makes sense. That's if you're drawing this on yourself and you're looking in a mirror. When you look in a mirror, it flips your image horizontally and so to correct that so that people can read Diablo the right way in person, you need to draw the lettering backwards. Okay, now, like I said, a lot of this you're just gonna have to look at a picture and I'm just hoping that watching me do it you get an idea of what you want to do and where you want to use your finger to blend any areas of the face or the body where the tattoo has a fade to it you then use your finger or an eyeliner brush to fade it out same thing on the body if you plan on drawing those tattoos like on the neck and then above the chest if there's lettering or numbers, you gotta flip it. So the 13 on the neck or where it says La Vida Loca, you want to draw that all on with the letters flipped. Keep in mind, this is a $1 look. So he has no eyebrows. You can't use a black eyeliner pencil to block your eyebrows. You can shave your eyebrows off if you want to, but I don't think it's necessarily worth it, especially if you wanna keep your eyebrows. Like, yeah. So. This is just a really inexpensive, easy way to create the El Diablo from Suicide Squad. So this goes to show you, you don't always need a whole lot of money to create a really cool costume or makeup look. I will say this, I'm going to be honest with you guys, 
If you are going to be dancing in this makeup, if you're going to be in an area where it's going to be really, really hot, it might smudge. If you touch your face, it might smudge. So if you have a black eyeshadow or you can find one at Dollar Tree, you just apply the black eyeshadow on top of the eyeliner and it'll help set it so that it doesn't smudge on you. As for the rest of the costume in the beginning of the tutorial, you might be able to tell that I painted on the clothing. And then for the parts where you can tell that I didn't paint on the clothing, like now, I just bought a white tank top from Walmart for $1.98. And then this jacket I got at Plato's Closet for $8. Plato's Closet sells used clothing, so this jacket was actually from Walmart originally. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it, especially a thumbs up for cheap, inexpensive, cool looking makeup. So I'll see you guys soon on Geek Up. I'm going to have more Halloween tutorials on Geek Up. Um, yeah, so I'll see you. Take care. Bye.